Hello and welcome to the Stephen Trice Podcast, episode 38, <laughs> 9, <laughs> four. Hey. Uh, Today I'm joined by Max Smith. Hello there. Tom Looney. Hi. Oh, you wacky <laughs> <laughs> And Joe McGrath, who's in the corner. Clapping himself. Miles yeah. away. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have Dave this week because we can only have three uh, in the room because of COVID. How did Boris. He, uh, take the news. Very well. Yeah. Nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one goes out to Dave Raves. Pick up yourself. Imagine next week on Dave Raves, it's going to be me. Uh, oh, Boris, you were saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just been announced that Manchester's staying in tier three. Yeah. yeah. It's going to the- be more tiers than three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wicked, wicked joke, spell that. Spell differently, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to spell, mate. Yeah? <laughs> Playing the education system, yeah? Oh. Fuck Boris. Fuck, fuck Boris. And Cameron. Tony Blair when I was a kid, so yeah. it would be him, yeah. I guess. Andy Burnham, who some people are blaming this on. Well, my education. No, not your Fuck education. Fuck you, Andy Burnham. <laughs> Gordon Brown. Yep. He, uh, he was there for a bit. John Major. No, you old <laughs> I said <laughs> twice. <laughs> <laughs> Three times now. Why I'm looking at that camera. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> Grandpa can't make the camera. <laughs> can't do my customary look to the camera. <laughs> just, uh, just poke your head around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You can say that again. <laughs> False. <laughs> 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 oh. We're in this new room that Joe's found. Yeah, mm. really I'm, unsettling. I like it. I like it though. It sort of it feels like a yeah. My girlfriend's dad's gonna walk in at any point. It's that sort of vibe. Well, we have a guest today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we Sweet. don't because Dave's not here. That'd be harsh on Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough mics. <laughs> But uh, your girlfriend's dad's going to pop in. <laughs> we, uh, we had a week off uh, from, from the podcast. Yep, much deserved. Just to just down to Corona. Yeah. Just down to Corona. Sure. Um, but we, we did a couple of videos. We did Tom's birthday. You're now 30. I Congratulations. Am. Yeah, thank you very much. Proud of you, man. Thank you for uh, you know, the, uh, making a fuss. Yeah. I appreciate it. Didn't make a fuss. We made, oh, you know, it was nice. You made know, memories. Just, yeah. Opened my house up to guests, which yeah. uh, that was odd. <laughs> oh, that wasn't part of the making a fuss. <laughs> I got fucking stir fry all over my floor, which took me minutes to clean. <laughs> no one asked you to put stir fry on the floor. In fact, you said you were going to put wet cabbage, <laughs> cooked cabbage. <laughs> Boil- I really wanted to do boiled cabbage. <laughs> but, you know, some people were like, oh, we'll make a mess because it's wet. Yeah. yeah. But you, you enjoyed the nights? No, I did, yeah. I had no idea of the premise going into it. You know, you kind of kept that to yourselves yeah uh, probably had to well you had to yes yeah, so, yeah um i i didn't know what to expect on max's night yeah i kind of knew you neither were gonna, did i yeah i knew you were going to kind of throw a, you know an extravagant party in in, in that sense that's what i um, do yeah regardless yeah but going into the second night i really had no idea what to expect and it was it didn't disappoint well for those of you that haven't watched the video it was a it 10 pound off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a ten pound birthday versus a thousand pound birthday. Uh, I had the a thousand pound birthday because we initially Max made a joke about him spending a thousand pounds recklessly. Um, and it just sort of stayed in my mind, so I uh, I stopped that. It was it was really good though. I mean, some incredibly awkward moments in your night. Do you know I I actually felt more awkward at Stephen's party though, yeah, because I was filming you because like when we first uh, sort of were setting up, it was like. Uh, keep your camera trained on Tom. So I'm just stood there silently, breathing so heavily <laughs> because I've kept my arms up in this position all night. I can just hear myself going... <clears throat> it's it sort of like a whistling. Yeah, as well. was, that was when I tried to breathe through my nose. <laughs> I tried to talk to you like even in between shots and yeah, stuff. But I, but you I were made, just... You've got to, you've got to I realize. Didn't, I didn't tell him to do that to you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't at the park. Lack of oxygen. <laughs> If I talk, I will literally die. But I, yeah, I, yeah. The the first night was it, it, they were both just insane. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's it. But what better way to spend your thirtieth? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I, I thought your. Uh, I mean, at one point, I did say this is the worst part I've ever been to, that's just because it yeah. was, it was, it was a bit weird. If you had to rate them out of ten, eight, nine for you. Wow, so, that's a good score. The, it's a great score. Really? Uh, yeah, because I mean, I, I was, I was spoiled in the end. Oh, I guess the phone. Really, yeah. yeah, I was really looked after. I guess that. I guess yeah. that sort of knocks everything else out. Yeah. Whereas uh, <laughs> yours. I mean, was that even was that even your beer? <laughs> I, I bought that. You yeah. did buy that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I must have taken up most of your budget. <laughs> yeah. my, do you know what my issue is? Is you didn't know the premise of the video. Yeah. As my party went on, 
you were like, yeah, this is a this is a Max party. Even if I had a thousand pound, that's probably. I wouldn't have, have been happened. surprised if you said, yeah, Max also had a grand to spend. <laughs> <laughs> Gave eight hundred to, to to Magic Ian. Magic Ian, yeah. he was terrific. Of all the uh, the people that you've introduced us to, Max, Magic Ian is up there. I had to I had to cut down Magic Ian a lot because again, it was hostile. <laughs> he just yeah. wouldn't leave for a while. <laughs> Maybe he'll come on the podcast one day. <laughs> just, just kept coming back begging for money. Saying, hey, yeah, that was weird because, like, you know, the character was so real. Like, he didn't want to look at me. It's like he clearly had um, issues. Mm. Yeah. And when I accidentally called Pup Pup <laughs> Magic Ian, <laughs> no, I'm Pup Pup. <laughs> no, my name Pup Pup. It's just that he went, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, character. Uh, yeah. That was yeah, good. Yeah, it was good. I was in the bug the whole time. I didn't even know he came. And then we had. Uh, the Lee DL Christmas advert, yep. following on from uh, Sainsbury's, yeah. people angry at a black family celebrating Christmas. We did a uh, did Lee DL, which is a uh, take on Little. Fun- no, uh, uh. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, would you've done it if you'd known that. Uh, no, I, I only told Max it was a sketch at the end. I said it's satire. <laughs> what? <laughs> Finally, we're speaking the good word. <laughs> Should have told me I would have acted. <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, very few racists commented on it. Still, some that are there like, were a couple. Oh. There's yeah. a few, but it's, some of them are so weird. Yeah, my favourite one is uh, there's somebody that's like, "Oh, you can't take the piss out of you know, Muslims or immigrants coming into the country without being called a racist or <laughs> or one of the isms," but their name is Eva Braun, <sighs> Hitler's girlfriend. Which is if you if you don't want to be called a racist, yeah. well, they must <laughs> don't be name a, yourself just, after Hitler's just a girlfriend. Troll, aren't they? I think you got to think if if she faked her own death with Hitler. <laughs> If this is how she's come out, to <laughs> she's that, that riled by this. And they're banning Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I shop at Lidl. <laughs> it's Lidl, Lidl's no. German. Oh, they come no, over they're... here. Don't <laughs> in their shops. <laughs> Peddling their wares. <laughs> <laughs> Peddling their wares. You okay? Yeah, it's funny, Bone. Oh. Boo. Boo. Ooh. <laughs> at, least, at least you're bringing something funny to the table. <laughs> hey! Oh. Good stuff. I like about that is Tom Claps or his hand the uh, <laughs> he's scrunching something up. Um, Maradona died yesterday. Yeah. Um, but before that, Heavy D from Storage Wars died. Oh, he, really? You may not know who it was. I no, I He's on the show before. Storage Wars, also okay. on Arsenal Fan TV. So he yeah. died in the morning, and then in the afternoon, it was announced that Maradona's died. Wow. Obviously a big shock, because they're both quite young. Well, one was 40, old, one was 60. I was just thinking about, you know, obviously it's sad. Yeah. But heavy heavy D was was going to get some really good news coverage up until Maradona died, yeah. and there's very few people bigger than Maradona worldwide. <laughs> Do you reckon that's why Maradona did it? No, Do you I don't think he's spiteful. I'm going to hold out for so long <laughs> <laughs> until that. I was going to live for another twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> it's my time. I'd I'd say with Maradona, when you watch his how he played, yeah. you sort of have to do it like so. How good he was in the eighties? Yeah, it's sort of like. I reckon it's like, uh, you know, $1 in the 1920s. It's worth a lot more now. Yeah. Because the way they played football back then, yeah. people would just kick the shit out of you. Um, they still <laughs> do when some plays. to me just to go and play like that, knowing yeah. how much you're going to get. You get walloped. Yeah. Snap. Like, as somebody who doesn't know a lot about football, it's like yeah. when I hear about people like George Best. Yeah. And it's like you see them drinking, smoking, doing all this stuff, and then... Apparently playing amazing football. I think a lot of that was after football. Though. I think I remember, the, well, I don't remember it, but the... <laughs> Neither does George. The, the, <laughs> the 1966 team, A lot. I don't know if it was uh, during that year or in and around that time, they did an advert on uh, like BBC or something Yeah. for um, go to the pub on a Sunday. And like Bobby Moore comes into the pub and there's someone lights his cigarette, I think, and then they go to the dark oh, pub. Different game. Um, order a pint. So. Did an advert on the BBC. Ooh. Famously, no adverts on the BBC. Public. Stephen Lyons has come early. <laughs> Ronaldo <laughs> then. <laughs> different time. Yeah, mad though. Yeah. It was a different time. It was a yeah. different We can't time. deny him that. Um, you can say that about everything. <laughs> Made breakfast this morning, different time. <laughs> Wouldn't be funny though. Would <laughs> <laughs> he would. Joe laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I think Joe was on his laptop. So far Joe away, that was a delay from what I said before. <laughs> 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 now he's laughing at yours. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming up to uh... a couple of minutes. Boo! It's <laughs> at <laughs> the worst time. R.I.P. Heavy D. <laughs> um, so we've got uh, the end of lockdown. By the time this goes out, yeah, mm-hmm. lockdown will have ended. But Manchester's still pretty much the same. Football fans up to like two thousand can start going to the game. 
just, Manchester United and City can't have fans. Uh, it only makes a difference a... for one team. Yay. In Manchester. Yay. <laughs> City, that is. Yay, yeah. have, have that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're locked down. Yeah. Uh, Black Friday this Friday. Uh, are you gonna gonna buy anything? Uh, I was thinking of getting some uh, AirPods. Why don't you wait till Christmas? I'm not normally. Honest. I'm not getting you AirPods. Why, why don't you wait for your sixtieth birthday? Have <laughs> <laughs> get a nice pair then. Why yeah, well, you wait a week? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I miss Dave. Yeah, I'm not normally asked about Black Friday, that kind of thing, but Ooh. went for a jog last night. Yeah? And yeah. Got my running arm caught in my headphones and ripped them out. Um, oh, I hate pocket. that. That angers me so much when... Yeah. Because I used to walk around the kitchen with my headphones in mm. and I had these little novelty handles with a fork and knife on and it'd get caught in a... Oh, yeah. Caught in that and yanked out. Yeah. And I'd look around like, who the fuck did that? <laughs> like everything in terms of handles and drawer handles in our house. Yeah. You is at the height of my pockets yeah, yeah. So I'm forever getting just caught on drawers and caught oh. on it's, it's, it's so, set up a gro- GoPro and you're getting yeah. 250 off you've been framed a lot <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> imagine that I've just got a story about you've been framed but I'll save it for Christmas what's coming at Christmas wait for Christmas save it for Christmas Christmas, Christmas podcast. podcast oh we're doing a Christmas podcast you're the one who said wait didn't I say you well you wait till Christmas for AirPods you said that you said yeah. that yeah. I'm just saying that's what I'd do <laughs> All right, I'm not going to be getting any Christmas presents. You are. You might do. About Devin, your partner. We don't. We don't really do Christmas. Are you excited for Christmas? Yeah. Do you know? It's. Uh, I think you know. Due to the uh, nature of this job. Non-stop. Yeah. 20... yeah, boy. No, because uh, uh, so I used to work at a bar. So yeah. Christmas and New Year's. I thought you'd be working. You yeah. know, just be working for me. You know, <laughs> Max, or... you will be serving me drinks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say it's going to be even worse this year. <laughs> Just catching up with some admin. <laughs> yeah, so Christmas, you're going to relax. Yeah. Might have kick a back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I, don't, I don't have baths. You know what? I, uh, I love a bath. Yeah. The last few years, you know, you're normally kind of on your own at Christmas, aren't you? Mm. Have you spent Christmas with anyone at all? No, I don't recently? think so. Not, not a, uh... Yeah, I did last year. Okay. Played Risk all day. Oh. Eight hour game of Risk. But if you had fun, pass the time. No, I've got okay. to get from sitting down all day. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you got that cyst. That was, I was watching Fargo. Great show. Yeah. Yeah. That was just before the tour. Anyway, yeah, you never yeah. had to miss that. I do, It was so bad because I kept looking up people that had had this thing. Yeah. Like you go on, uh, you know. WebMD. And you type in, it's a pilonidal sinus infection. You yeah. type it in and you're like, what's the worst that could happen? It's like, oh, I've had my arse sewn up and I've had a, <laughs> I've had a catheter put in there oh, and all this. So I'm just watching it like, imagine me on tour <laughs> with a fucking catheter <laughs> bag in my house shown, sewn up. <laughs> if, if anyone could get yeah. away with that as part of their character. <laughs> I'll end up tripping and ripping the stitches somewhere. Tripping and ripping. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a good. Pretty, yeah. pretty good, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just tripping and ripping. <laughs> good night, Belfast. <laughs> Just trip uh, over and shit just all over the stage. Uh, <laughs> anyway, on to today's topic, which is fashion. Ooh. Got a passion for fashion. Nice. Talking of our style, do you consider yeah. yourself a stylish guy, Max? In my head, yeah. Like physically, like what I wear, definitely not. But in my head, why in your head? Because well, I, I know what I'd want to wear, but as a bigger boy, it's Ooh, like I can't. Oh, what do you want to wear? It's just Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. <laughs> what would they be? Would they be black and grey? <laughs> <laughs> just surfers. I just wear this just because it's easy. Yeah. It's, it's not like you know, you know, you've got people that are like, oh, I'd want to wear brands and stuff and all that. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. You Fair know, for, for the videos, or I just it's just a change of clothes. Be, right. So th- here's the thing that it doesn't annoy me. I don't, you know. But what is what I read a lot. Yeah. It's people going, oh, that, that jumper must stink. So I do have a washing machine. <laughs> it does. Also, read a fucking book, mate, you know. <laughs> uh, it doesn't smell. But no. Max, Max smells nice. Yeah, fuck you guys, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Got a three-hour wash in my washing machine. Have and you? Your, yeah. Oh, wow. One of those little ball things. Yeah? You know, the... Is your washing machine fixed? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. It took a while to get rid of that smell. <sighs> um, what smell? I think uh, there was something blocking the uh, the pipe that pumped uh, the water out, uh, and so a lot of it was kind of yeah. coming back in, back so in. it would just get swilled around in the wash. And it was like it, it was putrid. Yeah, never that smell never I happened know. when I lived with you, did it? No, but we did have the same thing where water was getting. Uh, if you remember, it leaked. Yeah, we had to do a man job. It was a uh, 
Bib was caught in it. A bit of a bib was caught in the pipe. Anyway, uh, Tom, are you are you fashionable? Maybe. What do you think? You can be. You also go for these track suits and and tops, which is more comfortable. But when you dress up, what do you wear? You go for shirts. Yeah. I like boots. I yeah. Most the trainers. Uh, big fan of boots. So I kind of pair of brown boots. Pretty. I don't go for wild colours. Uh, yeah. Pretty earthy in what in what mm. I wear. Nice. I get a lot of my stuff in charity shops. Uh, like you don't want to spend money. Yeah. <laughs> spend some money on clothes. Well, of course, yeah. What's been the the most expensive item of clothing you've purchased then? I did get a pair of Doc Martens. Oh, yeah. Uh, How much did they cost? 130 quid. But then only one survived me moving house. Football Just boots. chugging beers as yeah. he was moving out. <laughs> <laughs> Football boots I spent, uh, I've spent 100 odd quid on twice. Crikey. Three times. Yeah. Were they like a special pair or just like a regular? Just top of the range at the time. Yeah. yeah. And did it make a difference to your game? <laughs> <laughs> but you've got to test that three times, haven't you? <laughs> uh, what about you, Max? Most expensive? I was still back at school. I'd, I, I, I did a job and I, I had about 80 quid to my name. I was like, okay, okay. I'm going <laughs> to buy some comfy threads. Uh, and so I go to this. There's a, sh- there's a, a street in Portsmouth, uh, Albert Street. It's like... It's sort of northern quarter esque, yeah. but it's got like shops like uh, vintage clothing okay. and things like that. There was a there was a tailor there, and I went in because <laughs> they had this hat outside. And you lost, <laughs> sir. <laughs> no, it was quite trendy back then. Yeah, real trendy. Uh, I went in and I was like, "Excuse me, sir, I've got eighty pounds for my name. What can I buy?" How many Hawaiian shirts? <laughs> Don't tell him how much you're working with to begin with. No, no. He turned around. He went, mm, "For you, sir." Uh, and he, he, As he made, scratches the price <laughs> off this hat. <laughs> you made me a turtleneck jumper. Is that what you wore to uni? No, no, uh, that was that was. That was <laughs> did have a jumper maybe. there though. You did oh, have no, a turtleneck. Did. Black yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Well, turtleneck, I and that was before tur- they became fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> No, they 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 were fashionable. Then they were, <laughs> and that's when you go for it. Yeah, the yeah. price plummeted. <laughs> so you swooped in with all your money, <laughs> and that was eighty. No, it's a bit. It's because it was tailored. So yeah, How and, then, and then I put on loads of fucking weight <laughs> just so you could take it back. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't fit, mate. It's like oh man, I, uh, it's like that coat I've got. Yeah. The one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wear it all the time. I got that when I was fifteen. My God. mum said you'll grow into that. Still which, which I did after I yeah. came to about 15 stone. <laughs> but it was worth it though for that yeah. coat. And that's yeah. nearly 13 years old. Yeah. Wow. A few years back when you were staying at mine, you uh, you put all your clothes in the wash. And so I lent you a Niger- my brother's Nigerian yes. shirt. Yeah. I do like that top. Proper green. Mm. And again, Nigerian, <laughs> Nigerian football tops have got really popular since that. Yeah. Well, I'm starting okay. to think is that... Hey. Is Max Smith setting the trend here? Mm. There wasn't even a Nigerian football... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> football I was going to say company. Well, <laughs> team. Uh, I just bought the, uh, the Liverpool football company. <laughs> I never knew what the C stood for in LFC. <laughs> Come on, mate. You're ready to make a football point. <laughs> Come on, Nigerian Federation. It's been handed to you on a player. <laughs> Club. Yeah. My, my most expensive is my coat over there. The North Face coat, okay. which I uh, I splurged on. <laughs> the stains come out. Yeah. <laughs> the value's gone up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I got. I was going to New York. Yeah. In uh, in December, I thought it's going to be freezing. Yeah. So I uh, I got this coat, and of course, uh, delivery was delayed, and it came. It came the, the day I was setting off. So I got on the plane. Right. And then when I got landed, checked my email. Of course, it's been delivered. <laughs> so, uh, uh, the parcel van just driving really fast. Or parcel, 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 yeah. parcel woman. Van. Parcel van. Or woman. Parcel Ooh. van or woman. <laughs> parcel van of parcel company. <laughs> yeah, I was fuming. Yeah. Well, you would be. got over it. You know, I was yeah. in New York. I'm not that ungrateful. What I didn't, what I didn't like in, uh, in New York was mm. when I got there, uh, the guy went, oh, really cool hat. I was like, cheers, mate. And then he, he wanted money, basically. <laughs> Happened in Madrid as well. Um, it, was a, it was a Real Madrid match we were there for. And there, there's two guys dressed up as like wacky cartoon characters, you know, in the sort of like Disneyland. Sort yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. They came over going like that for a picture. Naturally, being the celeb I am, I thought, mm. been spotted. Uh, <laughs> they then took the picture and then were like, now you pay money. They were getting really angry that, we owed them money because they thought they were a big deal. 
and get a picture with them. Uh, oh, right, okay. Hopefully I was with Lawrence McKenna and Adam Boltwood. And if you know them, they, uh, they're not meant to be messed with. Exactly. Just going, no, fuck no. off. Mm-hmm. They took the rid out of Real Madrid. Real, real mad, real mad. Oh, how, how much about was you the code, code, by the way? 250. Okay. Couldn't get a discount code. Yeah. I tried and I tried. But I think of it, I don't mind spending it a bit more because when you work out how, if you wear it every day, every time you wear it, yeah. if you have to pay 50p, yeah. it sort of works out. In my head, that's how I rationalise these payments. Yeah, no, yeah. So just write off as a tax thing. You know, I have to work for a video. There was a pair of boots I kept buying. Yeah. Because I don't like to buy leather. So they were vegan, but they were kind of cheap. Hmm. 30 quid I was spending on them, but I worked out I was spending 30 quid four times a year because they just yeah. fall apart. So, yeah. You know, this is smart it. with your money. <laughs> Thank so, you, Martin Lewis. <laughs> Great reference there. <laughs> uh, good friend of the podcast. Yeah. Uh, he cancelled last minute, so couldn't even get David. <laughs> um, one of the phases I went through uh, was I used to wear a lot of football kits. Mm. Of course, I wore one to a disco. Yep. Full back kit. To a back vibe. Full kit, sweatpants. Uh, didn't wear shin pads or the socks. But... Goalie gloves. Yeah. Grass stained knees. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're at the end of the night, you. if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I spoke over your joke. Say it again. So, no, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's, yeah, it's good. It, it's a year six. <laughs> Give it a blowjob, Max. Yeah. It's okay to speak over that. <laughs> um, Is it? Yeah. I, I used to wear Astro trainers a lot out and about. Do you know what they are? Like football boots, but not, not metal studs. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I used yeah. to wear those with jeans. Yeah. yeah. If you go, go to a disco, Where's my total nineties? Uh, where's my predators? As in the shoes? Yeah, um, <laughs> he's getting a blowjob from the years. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I went through a polo polo shirt phase when I did stand up. Nice, I look smartish. Uh, Ralph Lauren ones. Ooh, doesn't really uh, doesn't really make you go. He's funny, so that backfires. Oh well, no, you you had the, the the sort of content to make it work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. was posh. Guess that works. But then <laughs> recently, it's been NFL jumpers. Yeah. A lot of those don't really wear them. Just wear the same few. Uh, what phases did you go through, Max? Ever have a hipster phase? Like I'd have like the, the standard stuff I'd wear. Yeah? Because we didn't have a lot of money growing up. Yeah. So it was like, if you're going out, you've got clothes to go out in. Okay. Like as a kid. You know, you've yeah. got your play clothes, if you will. That would be like tracksuit bottoms and stuff. Nice. Uh, and then at home, it was like jeans and things, you know, you know, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Taylor turtlenecks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Time uh, to play out. <laughs> <laughs> I got to like uh, year seven and all that. I had loads of trousers. Yeah. Didn't have any tops. <laughs> <laughs> no tops, maybe. <laughs> so I, whenever I'd go out, I'd just wear them. Yeah. So then I started wearing shirts and, and trousers and... Yeah. You know, it was quite smart. But well, you were quite stylish when you started using yeah. it. Yeah, you were. That's that's you what know, made me think you were. As the weight the started today. coming on, it's yeah. just like finding fat clothes. You go to Giacomo and yeah. it's like, oh, a pair of jeans is eighty pounds. <laughs> you could either buy you know, eighty pounds worth of jeans or yeah. God, what, three hundred and twenty pork pies for that money? You yeah, maths, forty man. garage pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Not a mask going around here. Yeah, uh, no. Or a big barrel. Or if you're in Jacko, of... a lot of masks going around here. <laughs> hey! What time for that? But yeah, Giacomo was, you know, it's it's for bigger boys, sure, but yeah, bigger boys with a bigger wallet. Ooh. <laughs> no, not this boy. <laughs> not this big boy. Uh, big pants, small wallet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like trousers. I like wearing trousers. <laughs> It's an exclusive on the podcast there. If you I'm, see me about, you'll often see me in trousers. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, You've got good legs, though. In the legs. summer, I think the shorts could come out to play. Tom, any phases you went through? I don't know, really. I used to wear more um, branded stuff. There was a time when I'd buy more. I was more asked about brands. Yeah. And I'd mm. buy T-shirts that had like a lot going on. Like, you know, kind of a square of like a city view or something. Or just yeah. big writing. And like, I look back and it's like, awful. They were, they were popular at the time. Like yeah. there, was, there was one, I don't know if you remember it, there was one with, I think it was Rihanna on the front. Yeah. And River Island yeah. and Primark yeah. or something like that. They used to sell those everywhere. Never for me. But, uh, I may have had that shirt. Yeah. Or something similar. Yeah. No, mm. do you know, it was something similar, but it was a female. Yeah. Kind of, uh, yeah, squatting with a guitar kind of thing. Like, oh, yeah. I remember it that. Was, yeah. You, you was, borrowed it, but you never wore it, did you? <laughs> I splurged on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it with chinos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but oh. chinos. I bought one pair, and I was like, "This isn't for me." I never got into chinos. Yeah. No, no, it's no. my big thighs. <laughs> hey! Oh God. 
Um, Ryan Locke, friend of the podcast, he had maroon coloured chinos. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Burgundy chinos. <laughs> Burgundy chinos. Yeah. The, uh, the elf outfit was a nice upgrade for yeah. that day. <laughs> Genuinely. Yeah. Did you ever forget your, uh, your own outfit on, on clothes day at school? Ever come in your uniform? Uh, or from when uh, Miss Marple bent over? <laughs> <laughs> to bring no, you. no, I never forgot. Oh. Did you? Well, I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So it was year six, and uh, my mum always used to get me to school. Like, if it was, you had to be there for 10 to 9. We'd yeah. pull up at, outside the gate at like 9, 4, no, 8, 48. Pull up, pull up. Yeah, that's it. So we got there, and as we were going down the road, I just sort of started seeing people in their own clothes. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. no. And then you suddenly have the memory of the day before the teacher reminding you. Like, oh, no. And she's like, it's too late. I've got to get to work. That's tough in year six. Yeah. This is it. So I got out and I was like, oh, I've got to go in now. Um, thankfully, the one blessing was it was we we're rehearsing for our year six assembly. Okay. So it was that for the whole day. So people were in their sort of costumes in and out of that. Mm. And uh, I'd also forgot to take my PE kit home the day before. <laughs> and a sweet pair of tracky bottoms uh, and a stinky top. Yeah. So I uh, I chucked them on. Um, but at every school I've been to, which is only two, you have to... Uh, you have to sort of pay to wear your own clothes yeah. Yeah. to make a donation. A quid, a couple yeah. of It's like a charity event, wasn't I, it, really? I, thought, I was going to say, a few times in high school, I deliberately didn't go in because like, we used to do them regularly. I was yeah. Like, I don't have any money. This one, you had to like, bring in some food or something. Oh. So anyway, basically I forgot. Then a couple of weeks later, the teacher was saying, you haven't brought in uh, like the foods that you need to bring in. I was like, well, I forgot my own clothes. Yeah. Uh, and he kept saying it. And I'm I think my mum called up and was like, no, he's not going to do that because he yeah. didn't even do it. And I think my dad brought a chocolate bar, like a big one. Yeah. And the teacher then said, which I've said before, uh, I'm glad you didn't bring it in because uh, you know, I wouldn't trust you with it and patted his belly. Again, I really hope Mr. Martin's dead. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> that is awful. Man. And he was year six. That's insane. Yeah. Did you ever, uh, like, kind of, Infant school, or early school, early primary. Um, forget your pee kit. Now to do pee in your, uh, in your underpants. <laughs> I thought that was a myth when people would say that. Nope. You did that. What? Yeah. Oh God. No. Yeah. Cheadle Catholic. <laughs> you do fucking Cheadle. Fucking Catholic. Yeah. The, the no. priest used to do pee. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. The priest didn't run pee. <laughs> now in your planner it says football, but we're going to be doing the splits today. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking like kind of when you're four or five. That's and was, worse. And it was just <laughs> drop down and give me twenty, boy. <laughs> just do squats this yeah, week. I mean, <laughs> no, you weren't just wearing your underpants. I mean, I'm thinking they'd have like spare thigh high boots as well. <laughs> or whatever. They'd be spare stuff. Do you know? What? I can't remember. Are you give masculine. I can't remember. It's like it. It did happen. It happened to me. That's horrible. And it happened to other people. I just remember in the little kind of assembly hall, just running around in my underpants. That cannot happen anymore, <laughs> no, surely. No, definitely not. Well, it was more, I don't know if it was because the trap, I don't know. I don't I don't know why. I need what to look hell? into That's it. That's horrific. You need, need to, to look into it. Yeah, need <laughs> to Kids in their underpants. <laughs> That's <laughs> awful. That really can't happen anymore. We, we, what we had was a box of just disgusting clothes. Even the bibs we got stank. Yeah. Yeah. Which, again, it's like, just use a fucking washing machine. Fucking awful. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, these these uh, shorts that you have to wear, have you forgot your shorts? Yeah. And they've been, they've been there for like, you know, yeah. X amount of years. Guaranteed never washed. Yeah. But in your underpants, <laughs> that's insane. That's terrible. Yeah, but like I say, it wasn't, it wasn't, it, you know, it doesn't make it any better. It wasn't just me. Uh, <laughs> I, for some, I, I have a memory. It was all of us. I have a memory, but I am wearing like a t-shirt, but I'm thinking if I, if I got my t-shirt, why haven't I got my shorts? What's happened here? <laughs> Yeah, that's, that is bad, isn't it? That's, that's really awful. yeah, that is bad. Anyway, are you bad at getting rid of clothes? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm bad. At my job, I'm I'm right near a big cancer research charity shop. Yeah. Which is like just insane. Everything's two quid. <laughs> they get like that designer stuff in there. Really, I got some new predators uh, for yeah. two quid. <laughs> just as, the day after they're at my school asking <laughs> me to wear yeah. my pants. The day after my, my football boots fell apart, I found some predators my size, two quid. It's great. When I moved house uh, into the flat, I uh, that's when I, that seems to be the only time. Like if I have to move somewhere, I actually go through my clothes. Yeah, the year six polo shirt I have, which is signed by, but you nobody's looking back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they've all won there. Um, but the yeah, I've got that. I've yeah. got just things that I'll never wear. I've got it again now. Like the, like I said, the NFL tops. A lot of those 
don't wear. Mm. I just need to do something with them. I want to do something better than just take it to a charity shop that might just sell them on. What, what, what could you do that's better? Auction them off? If we could sell them and give them money to charity, that would be good. Yeah. yeah. Got, got a, uh, a pink, pink Adidas jacket that I've worn once just to go, that looks terrible and take yeah. it off. Yeah. Sell that. I wonder what I'd make more um, in a bidding war between, you know, some of want like you know, something expensive of yours yeah. and that jumper. Wow. Between Stephen Trice fans. Washed. I definitely, <laughs> definitely one of yours. No, I really? think that's, that's yeah. it's I, famous. I think the jumper's more famous. I think the jumper would go for it's like a, It's like Homer yeah. Simpson's white T-shirt. Uh, what's the oldest piece of clothing you've got? Probably the year six top. Okay. About you. I went to uh, Thailand when I was 10. Yeah. For a birthday. Oh, aye. For my birthday. Fucking yeah. hell. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I've got my PE shorts. I've got my shorts. Yeah. <laughs> And I went to a, a Thai kickboxing event, which is insane. It, it's Get crazy. away on this flight back, son. <laughs> <laughs> now, anything that comes through this glory hole, just... Anyway. Uh... <laughs> it's different, mate. <laughs> I was on about a fight, Max. <laughs> yeah, that's so was I. Um, you were punching the yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Hole of glory. It's a look, at this, thing. look at this wonderful fight night. We're not stopping here. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a, well, I didn't buy it myself. <laughs> um, my parents did. Bought me a lovely pair of Thai kickboxing shorts, <laughs> which I've still got to this day. Could you bring them? Because I'd love yeah, to see course. that, if you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, that's fine. Are you a fan of clothes shopping? No. No. I've got to say, one of the most infuriating things is trying on jeans. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I can so imagine. so hot and bothered. Yeah. Oh. And it's so hit and miss as that's well. It? Like, kind of, you just can't tell. How the jean, the pair of jeans are gonna are gonna fit. Yeah. Like with tops, I can normally get a good feel for it, you know. Whereas, yeah, jeans, nightmare. This is it. I'm with you on that one. And I, yeah, you know, I used to go for really skinny jeans, and you just get trapped in them, and you get so worked. Up, at least I would. I, I've never tried on a pair of skinny jeans. Yeah. Seeing them, I can't even imagine how they'd feel. People have been hospitalised. Yeah. Really. It causes nerve damage. And your balls and blocks yeah. off the uh, circulation. Not is good. it worth it? Maybe you could put on your Thai boxing shorts and see. <laughs> Don't do any damage. <laughs> Stephen, I, I can't like... get them off. I'm, I'm in a bad way. I feel like a 10 year old boy again. <laughs> do you have any brands that you favour or, or that you hate? Because I, I used to hate Hollister because of how dark the shop was. I've tried Hollister stuff on and I've just had a sagginess here where <sighs> big pecs are supposed to You in the wrong section? Oh, right. Like it was a tight fitting jumper, but it was like proper muscle fit. Jacket. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, like to the extent that it was actually sagging because I wasn't, you know, built for <sighs> it. Mm. Uh, Body shaming with the yeah. clothes. Think on, Hollister. Think on. Really don't like super dry. I used to have a coat, and then after a while, you just get fed up with the novelty of six sips. It's sick of the. It's just, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's not. I don't think it's a good it's a looking bit, brand. It's a bit Blair. Yeah. You know? Sure. I like, what's it called? Nike Air on my trainers because they make me taller. Sure. And also because my dad, my dad got me a pair when I was in year six. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe he's trying to push me away from the football boots. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think maybe it's a Liverpool thing as well. Nike Airs are very popular there. So, so what is Nike Air? Sorry, Stephen put his foot on the table. So these are these are ninety sevens. Okay. Then there's ninety fives, which is popular with Liverpool. Yeah. Right. Uh, and then you've got Air Max ninety. You've got so- Air Max Jordan. That whole world of. There's some real sneaker heads. Oh, it's... And yeah, they're, it's, yeah. they're mad into it. I think there's an element of the Empress New Clothes with that sort of thing. Yeah. And there's, you know, like brands like Supreme and Off-White. They can do pretty much anything. Mm. And they do do pretty much anything. But it's, some things it's like... It's like when we were filming that video yeah. and we, we saw that pair of shoes and we're like, oh, it's £30,000 or something stupid like that. They were 8000 which is Oh, was 8000 Okay, yeah. we're talking Fair about enough. something that wasn't in store. And then, yeah. well, there's there's a pair when I was in New York that uh, they tie themselves basically, yeah. and they're they're thirty. I've seen some maybe it was that. Yeah. I was fifty grand. Someone a bloke sold his car, or no, he sold them to buy a car or something. I seen like yeah, it was stupid. Like he's a taxi driver, possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, I'm probably getting all these wires yeah. crossed, but still, I think our taxi driver said yeah, we're he, saying about his... he sold his car for a pair of trainers. Yeah. yeah these self time ones and he's he said he'll give them to his son as a yeah. present when I hear about that with shoes it's insane I was talking to the guys at Kirsch Kicks and I was saying are they at least really comfortable like no it just feels like any other shoe yeah. it's just that 
the worst the point? it's a bit like pokemon cards in a way isn't it you're never gonna yeah. play with the pokemon cards no that's true they sort of they've stopped becoming you have to think of them as like a collector's item really yeah yeah uh what about fashion faux pas is there a, is there anything that you hate the look of go on you start oh, weirdly man. enough i don't like the look of uh of polo shirts on girls i don't know what it is it's a okay. weird one that <clears throat> very weird I guess in like films, people that it's always the sort of the horse riding, I am the queen of the manor sort of people yeah. that wear them, you know. I'm this thinking like, me, you know, like Mean Girls, but like the, is it the plastics? Yeah. Not them, I, I doubt they wear them, but that sort of like hoity toity. Yeah. Fuck you, you're beneath Rich me. Rich kids. Sort of yeah. Yeah. It's more their attitude you have a problem with. I guess, yeah. It resembles that. Yeah. 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 Nails uh, seem to be a nightmare for, uh, for females. Like she you know, always wants to get her nails done, yeah. but without fail, one will break and it ruins yeah. it every time, or yeah. one falls off. The, I don't know. So like it a just day. seems like, yeah, after like a day, and it's like, oh. socks and sandals. Where'd you stand on them? Uh, if it's comfy, go for this it. Is it. They've cares? sort of come round. Yeah. I want to keep these puppies locked up, baby. Like a Cruella de Vil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if you did let them breathe once in a while, they wouldn't be. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to IMAX and Joe, whose whose forehead is just at the corner yeah. of this shot. Joe, how's Wing It going? Yeah, it's going very well, thank you. Yeah. How, how's the reaction been? Uh, how's it been received? People love it. Yeah. yeah. Can't get enough of it. Really? Wow. It'll be it'll be linked down below yeah. to to check out. Hi guys, welcome to IMAX. Uh, a great segment for all the family. Uh, so obviously <laughs> last week. Uh, well, I was going to say two weeks ago. <laughs> you should. <laughs> yeah, and I will. Uh, and I did. Uh, they IMAX uh, struggled because apparently, you know, uh, a, a coughing child, which was sadly murdered um, to save Chris Tarrant, um, you know, the police weren't happy. Yeah. So uh, IMAX was sent to jail for time, hard time. Uh, and when he left, he got some fresh, a fresh fit. Nothing says hard time like a fortnight. Yeah. <laughs> Did some hard time in Tenerife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get mo. Um, so obviously this is the story of what happened afterwards. Great. Take it away, Joe. Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. Mm-mm. IMAX is getting a sweet taste of freedom after spending 20 years to life in jail for the murder of a child on the set of Slumdog Millionaire. Time to get out of these orange duds and find me some comfy new threads. I have two decades worth of films to catch up on, and I know just the person to see. What is it? Who are you? What do you want? Only me, Edna Mode. IMAX, the incredible film reviewer of the freshest, newest movies. I need some lazy duds for reviewing these hot flicks. Oh my god, you've gotten fat. Well, you could say I got a pound of beef during every prison shower. Come here, come, come. Yippee! You love. Really? In this orange jumpsuit, I thought I looked appealing. <laughs> this is a hobo suit, darling. Oh, you can't be seen in this. I won't allow it. Cor, blimey. I'm stark bollock naked. What do you think, Edna? Highly unusual. I'm a film reviewer, not a model. Now, can you make me a fit, fit for a king? You push too hard, darling, but I accept. Oh, that's my shower catchphrase. Two hours later. Two mother-in-laws. Do you get it, Edna? Well, darling, what do you think? Oh, it's great. A stripy jumper. Your sword can stretch as far as you can without injuring yourself and still retain its shape. Fat shaman. Cool. Completely bulletproof and machine washable, darling. That's a new feature. Outrageous. I'm going to go home now and... Stop doing that drumming. Who even are you? Wait, you look familiar. Oh God, it was your son all those years ago. Oh no, you're packing heat. Ha, bulletproof jumper. Any other little secrets? I cut it a little roomy. Yeah, I got that Edna. Loud and clear. Great content. Max. What was that? Can your New Year's resolution be to, you know, put some effort into IMAX and 
maybe review an actual film rather than you know killing someone each week <laughs> giving you a slice of life in a way uh, of what i have to go through to review these movies i you know I you think, think this, it... you think this shit's easy you are imax right i don't think you get the message yeah. uh and it's not really for this, you know, public domain. Come have a chat, Max. Come on. Oh, for God's sake. Well, 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 what do we have here? Look at this. Oh, darling. Oh. Louis, sit down, please. Of course, George. Can I help you, gentlemen? Oh. Oh, wow. Do not assume, sir. What <laughs> brings you here today? Hello, Thomas. We watched the podcast on a one off, terrible two hours. But we uh, saw you and thought, bloody hell, he needs a hand. You know what? I was in the bath, chilling with me boys, and I saw you, and I had a fashion faux pas in the bathroom. You look you look like you don't know who we are. No. This, this is the one and only Louis Vuitton. Preach it, brother. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> and this is the one and only... George Asda. Now... <laughs> Now, right here, right now, we've come to save you from the sinking ship that is your shit fashion sense. Oh. All right. You've come to give me a makeover. Well, just advice, really. We didn't oh, right. bring any props. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would have been better. Possibly. <laughs> now, look here, Tom, if that's your name. Look at that earring. Bloody Watch hell. Him. You look like Gareth Gates. <laughs> Great reference. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> You can't tell under the mask. Louis, when, <laughs> you look, to me. when you look at Tom, what word comes to mind? Pain. <laughs> well, I, you know, I've, never, I've never had any, you know, I've never had any issues, never had any complaints. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's two it's complaints. Not, it's not a wild style. <laughs> the fashion police are here to tell you, you're under arrest. I did not know you were part of the fashion police. You hired me for this job. Oh, God. You said, look at the state of this shit tip. <laughs> He needs sorting out ASAP. I watched it and I gawped, much like yourself. I thought oh. I was looking in a mirror for a while, except I'm not dressed like a twat. Okay, well, I, you know, I accept that you guys are coming from a place of uh, talent. Hey, you know, why don't you talk me through what you've, what you've got on today? You see, what Louis can do there is simply take off <laughs> their trousers and they are dressed with their legs free. That's and it. And they look great. I guess I just don't have the balls to wear something like that. You don't need balls. don't need balls. A woman no. could do this. Yep. Anyone could do it. That's very true. Now, look at you. you what, what are they on your feet? These are Vivo. More uh, like more like Vive now. <laughs> the okay. state of that. Get yeah. a heel on you, son. Awful. Get wedge. a heel on you. Okay. They're boring. You've, got, you've got no soul. I hate Quite them. like your trainers. Although they do have a soul, but not a good soul. You could be a comedian, you. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to stick to fashion designing now because I'm bloody good at it. And uh, look at your pants. They just sort of fall into your feet there. Bore off with that, will you? That is a massive camel toe as well. Are you a human or a chameleon? Slash camel. <laughs> a chameleon. So it doesn't work with my accent, but I'm saying camel alien. That's great, that. <laughs> Tom, you're a person. Let's know about you. All right? When I walk in the room, you blend into the fucking curtain. <laughs> What? Yeah, I guess I never thought about it like that before. You need to um, shout, Tom Looney's here, and he's loud. Obviously, you know, not too loud, though, because, you know, you're in a room with other people. Yeah. Rupture an eardrum. What? <laughs> Rupture an eardrum. <laughs> Droplets as well. Yeah. yeah. Louis, if you had one golden bit of advice for young Thomas here, what would it be? Shave your head. <laughs> That's true. Shave all the hair off <laughs> your body. True. Now, obviously... <laughs> this is all wigs. Louis, I don't know if, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but there seems to be a, a creature in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Little goblin fella. We, we've spotted someone that uh, looks looks like he's come he's... from the barn dance, it seems. Do you know what I love about this guy? Is that he's holding pillow over crotch. That's which is what they true. say to do if you've got erection. He's hiding his erection. It's not over Tom. Look at him oh, dressed I like a fucking fence that. panel. Look at him, the tombstone over there. <laughs> Bloody hell. We can see a checkered shirt in the distance. And it's not doing much for me, is it? It's like a shit tartan. Look, Joe. <laughs> players wear layers. All right. Aww. All I can see is what... Let me, we say that all the time. Don't look surprised. Do you want to stand up so people can have a point of reference? Joe, an erection isn't fashion either. Tuck that away, will you? That's Clothes awful that advice. fit 
aren't it? I'd That's go what the other way. That's it. You want to be uncomfortable to be comfortable. The amount of times I'm in the baby gap <laughs> going through all the clothing. <laughs> if it if it doesn't make me chafe. That's it. What rolls with chafe? It doesn't go in a basket, basically. Yeah. <laughs> now, of course, Tom, once you've chafed in it, you probably should buy it. Well, no, I don't try it on. Never try <laughs> something on. No. Right. Okay. Too predictable, oh. really. You run the risk of... Uh... You're on their side now. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Joe's understood the message. So did I. Next week, you get a dress to the nines. Okay. And then the week after that, dress to the tens. All right. Okay, yeah, I'm prepared to take it on board. Thank I'll... you, Tom. Try some. I'm not going to shave. Um... Shave one, your head. One step at a time. Just shave a bit of oh, your head. Oh, the hair no. off your body. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Hair is a scare. Joe, I think it'd be great if you went for the uh, the lackadaisical PE lesson look and just get rid of your trousers, will you? Yeah, yeah. Pop a bollock out. <laughs> yeah, that was the reference there. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, Louis, we've got more people to save from looking like twats. <laughs> Bye. <Ta -da>. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Smells a bit musty in this room now. What have you been doing, Tom? Oh, nothing much. Look a bit uh, sort of dazed. Uh, a couple of gentlemen came in, written me a new one. Yeah. Should we move on to Tom Looney? Did -lo Tom Looney? Did yeah. -lo He's Looney. He's Looney. He's Looney. I don't know what the ringtone is or the uh, the theme. Oh, Fucking Looney. ringtone. I think we just scream Looney at him. Looney. 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 Oh, we do. We do. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this week I've taken a look into the archives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and nice. found some examples of the most painful fashion trends of all the time. Yeah. Things through the ages that men and women and children uh, have done for fashion. Are you saying yeah. painful in the sense of, oh, that's painful, girl? Painful, oh, dangerous, never just heard that. you know, bad for your health. <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, so crinolines. So, if you remember the dresses. That used to come out like this, the big billowing. Yeah, yeah. So they're met, metal steel frames, really heavy. Often women would have to be helped into them. Mm -hmm. um, but it's they're extremely uncomfortable. Obviously, it makes your surface area so big for some of these very slight women that pe women uh, have been known to blow off cliffs, be blown into oncoming <laughs> what, what traffic. What year are we talking about? This so this is nineteenth century. Blown off cliffs. Yeah, nineteenth century. Wow. What's worse is that the uh, the steel would rub against the hooped skirts and create sparks. Uh, well, not all the time, but sometimes they were known Be to known catch to. fire. And obviously, because they're so heavy and took so long to get off, women would often burn alive wearing their dress. Damn, girl, look hot. Yeah. <laughs> More? God, I wish I was born in the 19th century. Yeah. <laughs> uh, corsets. I will skip past corsets. You know what corsets are. Right? Yeah. I know what a corset is. Awful. Too tight. Mash up your organs. Yeah. yeah. People still use them today. It's insane. There's the, I remember uh, the... Guinness Book of World yeah. Records, the woman with the tiniest waist. Yeah. It's, it's minuscule, yeah. It's insane, but like, you know, if you think what you've got, the vital organs you have there and the yeah. size of them, that's that's just... You eat a hefty what, meal, yeah. stay in there. You're dead. Gone. Uh, foot binding. Have you heard about foot binding? That's Chinese. In China, yeah. yeah. So you start as like four, uh, four between four and eight, that kids would get their foots bound together. So basically the idea was to crush, break, bend the bones so that they can mm. fit into these like four centimetre shoes. It's insane. What was, what's the point? It's fashionable, it seemed it's like. attractive. Yeah. You know, women with small feet. So like, but you, so they'd have usually have this big bit of heel and then the actual bit of the foot that is below that, that fits into the shoe. And yeah, but some 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 women in that, are, you know, by the time they get to adulthood, just can't walk. Bloody hell. Yeah. Hamsters have small feet, I wouldn't fuck them again. <laughs> it was outlaw, but I think it still kind of goes on, you know, it's yeah, very strange. pretty awful. Underground football. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what have we got here? Eating chalk. <laughs> People do that for a while. Uh, back in the oh, life. fashion. Yeah. 18th, 19th century, because that was... Really um, white teeth. That was meant to... The, the idea... Well, the, the belief was that it would make your skin paler, and it was... Ah. It was... It was ah. I think back in Tudor times, they used to like mix like egg whites and stuff and create... Being like, pale was like the thing. It was like yeah. yellow teeth and yeah. white skin. Mm. So, so yeah, what so, they wanted. But the opposite people, of Essex. That would have been great back then. It didn't work. Um... People did get paler, but that was because they got sick from ingesting <laughs> chalk. It's, it's working. It's the, working. Uh, the tapeworm diet. I've that heard was, of that, this. That was, this was in. This was in. Uh, <laughs> this is a 20th century diet. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Women use it. So each each pill would would uh, contain one tapeworm egg, and they, it would hatch in the stomach and feed off. You know, so you, so you weren't. So it'd eat what yeah, you're consuming. It, exactly. But surely you'd be hungry though. Yeah. Yeah. So I imagine some gets through one tapeworm and they can't reproduce. 
unless you eat two tablets. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you people got um, intestinal blockages, formation of cysts in their liver, eyes, brain, spinal cord. They were some of the things that can happen. Uh, arsenic was used as a dye um, mm. around early 19th century in uh, to, to dye things green. So wallpaper, curtains, but in particular dresses, it was very popular. I think they just invented gaslight instead of gone from lamps. So it was a bold dress. But obviously arsenic kills you. So people, um, it would, people were breaking out in blisters and the women in the factories were dying and, and were complaining of their eyes. Their eyes were turning green. They said they could only see green. They were vomiting green and would have all of a sudden Jesus. massive organ failure. It makes you question the song Pretty Green Eyes, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but what's worse is that people used, to ultra keep, people used to keep arsenic in the house to kill um, rats and stuff. So they knew it was yeah. poisonous, but they thought, I'll be all right as long as I don't lick the fabric. Yeah, It didn't work. This is a good one. Lard for styling wigs. <laughs> Back when wigs were all the rage. Yeah, man. Um, Still are on the Stephen Charles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So people would use lard and hot tongs to curl them. Yeah. Uh, but it, it was set so bad, uh, they would go days without washing them and it would be like ripe for lice and would attract like mice and all sorts of vermin. So women used to sleep wearing cages around their heads to stop the mice from attacking their lardy wigs. <laughs> Fucking hell. Should we move on to Put It To The Max? Put it to the yeah, some good stuff there. Lovely Tom yeah, yeah. Looney there. Looney. Woo! Tom yes. Looney. The things you do for fashion. Yeah. Hi, I'm a huge fan of the podcast. I've seen everyone, and along with the Carl Pilkington podcast, it's usually what I end up falling asleep to, not dig. I'm just emailing to say that around a year ago, me and my best friend actually met Stephen and Tom in the Arndale in Manchester during the first week of Freshers. Whenever I've met people I'm a fan of or respect, I often find it daunting and nerve-inducing. I'm wondering whether this... It's the same on the other end, and that meeting fans is in any way intimidating for anyone on the podcast. Thank you for hopefully choosing my question, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and may IMAX continue and be the world's most important source of information for the freshest, newest movies. They, they wrote this before this week. Yeah. P.S. Uh, we would love to also get a picture, of, a picture with Tom. Best wishes, Luke. And there's the picture of Luke in the Arndale outside. Ooh. H. Samuel, the jeweler's there. Great advert Stephen. for them. So they're asking, is it intimidating in for you... Or nerve-wracking, or did you get any sort of ang- angst? So there is a profile to a Stephen Trice fan, uh, <laughs> kind of, you know, young, male, yeah. you know, teenagers and stuff. So I kind of you can kind of yeah. tell when you've... You can, you can kind of Teenage t- males. Tell when you've been spot- spotted mm. quite early on, before they've even approached you, so... Yeah. Um, I don't mind yeah. getting pictures. It is weird. I'm not inundated with it. My only issue is when it's... You can see them taking pictures of you. I hate yeah. that. But it's like, you know, it's it's so... They're just doing that. I've, no one looks at their phone that way. Yeah. Uh, there was one time I was waiting for the tram, and there was this massive issue because we got there. I hadn't paid. <laughs> got there, tried to pay on this machine. The machine was broken. You go to another machine. There's a woman there with her son, and she's took 10 minutes to buy a ticket. Oh. So I'm stood there fuming. Yeah. And then I look around the uh, on the other side of the track, and there's a kid there with his parents, and he's just filming me. Ugh. And I'm there, I'm there, like just seething. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sort of like you fucking idiot, you know, and all this sort of stuff. And he's just there, like going, "Oh, I hate it." Mugging me off uh, a couple of weeks ago, and there was a lad just stood there like that. Yeah. And then yeah, we look at him. Yeah. He just sort of goes like that, as if he's not filming. It's so obvious, and yeah. I've said it like a lot of times. If you want a picture, just ask. Like, yeah. We're not going to go. Do that. No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. But in terms of you know, how we, we act with people. I thought it would be perfect to role play. Um, okay. Who wants to be themselves? I'll play myself. Okay. okay. And we'll be, we'll be we'll fans. Be fans yeah. Okay. Hey, mate. You off the... You on the the videos? Oh, say it, bruv. Say it, bruv. You on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am. Fuck it. Stephen Try. Thick, thick. You're what? Stephen Try. Is that the one you mean? No, I'm not Stephen Try. It is look weird in the middle. <laughs> Fucking thick, this man. I'm on, I'm on the podcast with Stephen. <laughs> Fucking uh, wicked, man. channel on that. Yeah, the, the yes. podcast is probably the least significant thing I've Fucking savage. Fucking. It's your 30th birthday of the day, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. Right it was. Turn, right yes, my G. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> fucking thick, man. <laughs> Fucking weird to hear about this down at you. You're right, man. <laughs> yeah, just fucking so fucking excited. Came here to get some fucking webs for my feet, man. <laughs> Didn't want it to be monetized. <laughs> yeah, fucking, you know what? This 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 sick bro here. Yeah, this yeah. sick bro. Can I can I get a picture with you, bro? Yeah, sure, oh. man. No problem. <laughs> Listen to him, man. Cheers, man. Should we do that now? <laughs> Where's your bro here? <laughs> Straight savage, bro. I'm a I'm a joker too, man. I watched the videos and I got inspired. Yeah. You check out my channel. 
Why yeah, are you shaking sure, your, I'll check it out. Yeah. You shook your head as soon as he asked. No, no, What's I'm just, I'm with just busy. I work a lot. Disgraceful, mate. Yeah, well, well, you're just sort of sat in the bench in the Arndale. Is that your <laughs> job, is it? You're security, are you? <laughs> Undercover cunt. security in the Arndale? No, 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 mate, no. Full of shit, you. <laughs> Never <laughs> liked you. You're a wanker on the podcast, too. <laughs> Fucking Tom Looney. Yeah, I get this. Preferred IMAX, mate. Yeah, IMAX, IMAX yeah. is number one. He's so fit as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Can you tell me where the Taco Bell is? <laughs> Um, so there you go, guys. That what is. Happens. It's weird. It's weird. It's like you know. That that isn't. That has happened. To me, me and Max weren't playing. Generalized viewers, we were just two in particular. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really. Could yeah, be anyone. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's how you behave, Tom. Yeah, that's how I behave. Think yeah. on, mate. Think on. I've I've, I've met viewers. <laughs> I've met fans who've come up to me and said. You know, they're massive fans of the channel. Sure. And they've taken a picture with me. Sure. Taken a picture. They've met you. They've taken a picture with, with you. Do it with Tom. They get nothing, man. Yeah. Tom just sort of pushes them I away. I smile yeah. loads. I've Tom got, used to I've do the two meter rule before the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To put a mask on. You're fucking ugly. <laughs> People were coming up during the height of it. Like, can I yeah. get a picture? Man? I felt yeah, bad. Yeah. Like a uh, you know, social distance. Not asked, mate. Yeah. I, uh, I am. One lad One lad uh, went to me, should have put a mask on. <laughs> and I would with your face. It was, uh, it was great fun. It was great fun. Just a young lad with his parents, wasn't yeah. it? No, he's, he's with his boys. But I like yeah. that, people that can have a joke. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. the final question is a would you rather... Final question. question. <laughs> 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 would you rather... Have an erection every time you give a hug yep. or fart loudly every time you give a handshake? Uh, handshakes are more business orientated. So if I was to be a businessman one day, could I? Yeah. Uh, and I'm there and I'm free. Alan Sugar, he's, he's going to give me millions of pounds for my new, yeah. my new invention or whatever. Shake his hand and a fart. <laughs> it's a loud fart, is it? It's not a silent. Fart, fart loudly. Fart loudly, yeah. right. Okay, then. <laughs> I, I, feel... I, I could see the handshake being <laughs> worse and like, Business stuff. I'd love that to happen to you. But if it was like hugging your family the, members, the the person I hug the most is yeah. like yeah, girlfriend and family. Yeah, it's just too dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. Would you not just kind of? I mean, then you probably modify your underwear so they're just constantly kind of tucked in, and then it was never going to be coming out at an angle. Yeah. Like you know, you just you have to adapt. The thing is, the fart thing, you know, you could just cough loudly, but. Yeah, or you the, could, you, you could. Know, I mean, if you're having to shake hands with yeah. five people all at once, <laughs> if you could work out instead of going like that, yeah. If you went, if you know, you had your hand open and you sort of clasped, clasped hands together. Is that a handshake? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> high fives, high fives don't. don't but do you know, what? I'd say with this whole coronavirus thing, maybe you could just do the arm, elbow. Tap. Yeah. So should we role play this? Yeah. Uh, we going with the. We'll go with the the erection hug. Okay. okay. Uh, you two. You two be uh, people that give each other hugs. I'll just be passing by. Hello, love. Yeah, mate. What are you getting? Oh. Nice. Sorry, uh, I couldn't help but notice. Uh, got a massive erection. Yeah. No. <laughs> deal with that. If you don't mind me asking. Oh, this is, this is from earlier. Don't worry about that. I did. Well, it wasn't because when when you walked over, I spotted you. It was, Flat as anything. No, no, no. You must, you must be mistaken. Oh. Uh, I took some pills. Uh, Didn't see strange. that happen. Yeah, yeah, definitely happened. Why, why do you have an erection? Eh, why not? You know, uh, why well, not? Because so, uh, it's a good friend of mine. This I, is, I do want to stop this you there. This is parents' I, evening, and that's I, your I've child. I've just come to pick my son up, and, and you said you were watching it beforehand, and it was flat as a bone. Yeah, but you said hi, love. That's weird. That's my boy. <laughs> yeah, love. Sorry, I'm okay. a teacher here, and I've never <laughs> seen you pick up this child before. Ah! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I was going for the fart loudly. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how fast that can kind of get away from you. Yeah. yeah. I think you're in control of the situation before you know it. You've lost your job. Because yeah. I think I give more hugs than handshakes. I just, I just fist bump people. Mm-hmm. Maybe I throw up if I do that. You didn't notice the erection in that scenario. So, Max mm, did. So, you know, it was a passerby that kind of dobbed me in there. <laughs> so, you know, I guess it's just kind of be careful who's watching when you do hug people. Obviously, I, I guess. Like, I guess. Know. I guess. When you hug people, do you do you have your groin up to them? Yeah. Do if you, you do it of, properly, yeah. Do you, do you touch groins? <laughs> <laughs> probably. You're well, supposed to, aren't you? You're supposed to go. See you later, and then you you rub your crotch. So I guess it depends how down big on your the penis thigh. is as well. I mean, yeah. you've, you've you've said you know you've famously famously minute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't really make a difference. Wouldn't ruin it. No. Not really. But you still went for the fart. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to fart more. Yeah. I am backed up, baby. <laughs> 
Uh, there we have it. Yeah. That is the fashion podcast. <laughs> really good. <laughs> if that doesn't take fashion, I don't know what does. Uh, yeah. We did talk about fashion, didn't we? We did, we did. We did, we did, did a good time. Uh, no, thank you very much for watching the fashion podcast uh, featuring Tom Looney. Looney. Yep. Looney. 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 Max yeah. Smith. Yeah. Cheers, guys. And Stephen Tr- Oh, Joe McGrath. The one we And me. Stephen tries. tries. One, one time I fucking back announce myself, that happens. Stephen, Stephen tries. Cheers, Joe. Uh, anyway, stay safe, stay humble. Ciao. <laughs>